Anyways, let's get moving. So we'll get started on the video. It's going to be about the YouTube algorithm, the AI that's involved, the recommendation system. Uh, so I'll show some of the content of what I've been working with. That's one of the screenshots that I've been taking, explain my frustration with it, and then we'll uh, cover what I plan to do in the future, you know, including making this video, you know, which was uh, just to kind of satisfy my own needs. But uh, hopefully you'll enjoy it. The algorithm is something they call a recommendation system. And so uh, recommendation systems are, um, well, the one that YouTube uses is called a multitask ranking system. And so it follows a uh, two-stage pattern to manage about two billion videos that they have in their library. This is from machine learning system design, the YouTube recommendation system. So uh, if you want to look it up, ML Tech Track, and I'll try to put a link in there. But anyway, so he uh, described how the, the system works, and, and I don't know that this is exactly the system that they use, but this might give you some idea what's going on. one is somebody watches a video. So a video is just watched and it gets uh, ranked, assigned at different uh, parameters of how well it's done. And they try to take say a million videos and they want to funnel that down to about 500 that are really good that people liked. So you know um, in the ranking system they're looking at the click-through rate then they're looking at engagement. So in the engagement part of it is, is how long was the video watched and then how, how was it liked? And you know, even for the like uh, parameters, they can say, well, your existing viewers didn't like the video, uh, so it probably wasn't that good, or they didn't watch it all the way through. So like in my case, I said, got the hold of, you know, 20 or 30 of my family members and said, hey, how about watching my YouTube video? So they may get on it and watch it for a couple minutes and say, well, that's nice, but uh, I'm not really interested in that, even though they've subscribed. And so I could be getting a negative uh, feedback from that. I don't know, but I mean, I, so far of everything I've done, it, it goes up to, uh, it started out about 20. I'd get 20 views and then it would stop. And they stopped even showing it to anybody. And then I had a couple that they pushed on, on to about um, 3,000 impressions. So I got some that had up to 3,000 impressions. And those got around 60 to 65 views. And then uh, all of a sudden the next, uh, thing I know is I'm getting uh, a views taken away and, I'm, and it's happening a lot and I'm like looking at it going wow I went from you know, I had 20 views now I got none it's down to zero and there and nobody's explaining what's going on and I'm like going man what happened so I do a little research on it and it says that if you watch your own video the algorithm will penalize you for watching your own video and I'm like okay so I watched my own video I watched it like four times at this particular case and I watched it on a, VN, a VPN network, and I watched it on a couple different browsers that I have. But, you know, for the most part, it knows who I am. I mean, it sends me the link, you know, so I don't get why I'd be penalized for something that the algorithm knows that I'm the one that's watching it. And then, but also what I noticed too is that when you post a video, if you just let it sit there, it's not going anywhere. So you have to watch the first video. You're the first one to watch it, and then the thing picks up and goes, oh, somebody watched that. And if you only watched it for a minute or two, well, guess what? They're going to go, oh, that wasn't very well liked, and it was somebody that's the channel subscriber or something. So we're not going to show that to too many people. So I, I think there's a lot of things that happen with this algorithm that oh, well, negatively impact the um, performance of the channel. So, um, you know, I, I don't really have a hard time with the fact that the, maybe the videos aren't all that good. You know, sometimes the audio's off or or the video is just choppy or, you know, it's just not um, quality work, you know, so I, can, I get that, you know, they, this is a business and they want to really maximize view time. So, you know, that's how the algorithm works is it's picking and choosing uh, videos that have the highest views, you know, already. So it may be that you're missing out on some content, but at least when you watch it, it'll be of better quality than something that hasn't been watched very much that maybe you don't really won't enjoy. So. I think that's the purpose behind the algorithm, but it is uh, artificial intelligence. It's a uh, machine learning program, so uh, uh, you know this is the reason why I'm covering it. But anyway, so let's move on. So um, 
Uh, this was the part on the recommendation system, and then they go down through here, and they push those 500 videos that are left into a ranker, and the ranker will sit there and it analyzes the viewer. So it takes the viewer's uh, parameters, what they've watched in the past, and it tries to align those up with a video, and then it'll show you from the 500, it's going to pick out the four or five top videos that it thinks you'll really enjoy. So uh, between uh, clicking on the on the thumbnail, you know, I, mean, I don't know if you noticed, but most of the thumbnails that are being shown look the same, and there's a reason for that. It's because everybody's trying to, like, you know, perform to the algorithm's expectations, so things start looking the same after a while. And uh, anyway, so that's the uh, recommendation system, and then here's the scale of this thing when you look at how many people are on it, and they know it's a problem, so the clarification is a big problem. So what happens here is we've got um, 2 billion monthly active users on YouTube and they want to watch a, one of a billion videos so you got all this demand and it, it boils down to 700 users per second are making requests to look at videos so at 700 users per second the ranking system that's going to serve up the, the videos has to be uh, pretty darn efficient and so that's where we get um, you know, uh, part of the machine learning thing. It's not a guy sitting in his little cubicle drinking lattes all day. Like you kind of feel, you get that impression that that's what's going on, and somebody's like pushing buttons, saying, "Oh yeah, yeah, this one here. Let's promote that ch that channel more, or that video more." It's not like that, you know. Um, there was a period that I had a couple videos that seemed like it was getting better um, impressions, so they're they're showing it to more people. And it could be that it was just trying to learn what my audience would be for my videos because I'm new and I don't have a lot of uh, history or anything. So this is going to be a time, you know, you got to spend a lot of time in it and try to make good videos. No matter what it does, it's going to come out with a bias on certain videos. So big channels, it's got a lot of uh, viewers, you know, you've got a million subscribers, you know, that's going to get served a lot more of your videos than if you're a small guy like me. I've got. 10 or 12, maybe 13 subscribers by now, you know. Wow. After a couple of months, for a week or two, I was like, oh my God, what's going on? How does this thing work? You know, so I had to do all this research to try to figure this thing out. And I think I understand. Here's some of the screen recordings I did for the content I was working on. So for instance, I have a, a BricsCAD layer control. That was a video that I was starting. that I was noticing that they were taking away views. And I couldn't understand why they were taking away the views. You can see that um, this was on 410, so uh, August 10th. So I got one view, one like, and that was probably me. I mean, I was viewing like it, you know, I mean, tried to get it going. And this was after two days and four hours. So, uh, you know, it's been on for a little bit, and there's a whole lot of stuff going on. And then right below that is this film bar thing. This was another one that I was watching first nine days, 20 hours, I got 59 views. So that one was looking like it was doing pretty good. And all of a sudden it just dropped off to nothing. I mean, okay, that's April 10th, you know, and if we keep going along, you'll start to see it stays at 59 for a long ways. And then all of a sudden it jumps up to 60 around April 18th. You know, so another week later I get another view. And it's stuck at 60, it hasn't gone past 60 since, and that's uh, 10 days ago. Yeah, I don't know how the system works as far as promoting stuff. I guess if, uh, if people don't watch it, you know, that's going to be an indication that it's not something that they want to have out there because, uh, you know, this is all about money. They're raising money. And, uh, you know, it's a free program, so other than you got to do a lot of work to put your videos up. I mean, there's probably millions of people that are like me just doing this and, and putting a lot of time and effort into it and then not being sure if it's... Uh, a fair system or not, you know, so that's a, that's a little bit of a discouragement there, and then there's nobody to talk to, you can't uh, email anyone, or... And if you are a family member, make sure that you watch it all the way through because when you click off of it, it's going to affect me. But uh, yeah, so 
I got to tell you though, it was really kind of uh, uh, you know uh, uh, discouraging to see you've worked on this and you know hey you're starting to get a kind of a groove going and then all of a sudden boom they hit you with you know rejection so you're feeling rejected and you don't know why and I'm looking up things and they're saying well you're watching your own videos too much and had access before and I'm like going, what the heck is going on with this thing and again there's nobody you know you don't have anybody to contact but anyway so I did the Bricks CAD one and, that, and if we follow that through um, you can see kind of it got up to 6 and then 13 and then we're at 15 and then we hit 22 and boy I got up to 30 30 views but if you look at the um, um, say the overview so we got 30 views and you know, it's kind of a you know line that goes through it maybe this is the curve to admit it flat line so at 30 it just stopped and then uh this was the watch time so i got a, almost an hour of watch time on it they gave me 800 impressions for 30 views so that ended up being 1.9 percent click-through rate so that's the uh, uh performance of the thumbnail uh, and even then they could be showing this to of people that aren't really interested in it. So it says that the YouTube search was getting 36% um, of the uh, uh, of the content, you know, the viewers. So somebody was actually searching for something that was in that BricsCAD or the BricsCAD layer control. And so then I got um, 30 views. This is the reach. So it shows 30. And then here's the reach for unique viewers with 17. So that's kind of good. And I might have picked up a subscription off of that. I don't know. The engagement. So this is a really critical metric here. If you notice on here, we got a lot of little small jumps in the engagement. And what that indicates is that somebody that turned it on, maybe watched it for 20 or 30 seconds, shut it off. And then it uh, ruins your uh, average view time because now you've got all these people that are that are watching the video, but they're not really interested in watching it, so they're clicking off. So I don't know if that comes um, organically or if that's actually something that's built into the into the way that the system works. Like, I mean, could I go on a news channel and uh, and watch a video and, and cause them to lose uh, a rating in the system because I engaged only for a few seconds on purpose? I mean, I imagine that's possible. I don't know how you would tell if that was going on, but sometimes it feels a little bit that way, you know. So here we had one subscriber on that one, you know. And, uh, you know, then it's just showing the eligibility here. Well, how many you got to get? So I'm way over here in the left-hand column of, uh, of being able to uh, rate to, to have eligibility. And the eligibility is important, too, because if you want to try to get in touch with somebody, you got to be an eligible uh, YouTube creator to get any support. So you don't start being able to get support from anybody until you've reached this. Um, you know, here it's 500 uh, subscribers and and 3,000 views. So or hours watched. So and that's in a year, I believe. Yeah, 365 days. You got a 3,000 hours, and I'm like hitting about 10. You know, after 28 days. So and it seems to be staying right there at that at that mark, so I don't know. You know, I'm adding more videos, it doesn't feel like it's uh, gonna go up, you know. And then here we're gonna come across, so you can see that the getting in touch thing, they've got something in there for you to do that. And to the best of my knowledge, there's no way to like contact them. And I ended up using the feedback mostly to try to actually get in touch with people at YouTube. And, um, that was uh, a frustrating, the feedback didn't really uh, uh, provide anything, they don't email you back or anything like that. I mean, it seemed like maybe they were change, making adjustments when I'd send the feedback in because I'd get my views back or something. I'd go, hey, you know, you're taking away all the views. And I'd go from um, maybe I had 20 or 30 views to all of a sudden there's none. And I'm like, well, what is going on with that? That's, stu that's stupid. That really makes somebody feel really good. So, I mean, that was very discouraging. And, uh, you know, I don't know if other people are feeling the same thing, but that's discouraging, you know. So... The video sucks. That's good enough. You know, take the views away. <laughs> you know, so the, so this is the uh, 
BricsCAD layer control. So if you search for my BricsCAD layer control, you actually would not see it because they probably wouldn't serve it up to you unless uh, unless you're subscribing to my channel already. So they stopped, you know, around, you know, they had a pretty good run for a few days and then it stopped and it kind of plateaued out. So we got uh, the impression rate is 219 percent or 2.1 percent. So and that's not a whole lot. Then I got shown here that I've got uh, 0 0.9 hours view. Then here's kind of a duration. So the early viewers are in the two day or four day actually watched it, but later on they started just dropping off. So that's where I'm wondering, well, where do those viewers come from that are affecting the performance that much of the video? I mean, was it uh, um, someone that was actually searching for that and, and intentionally giving you negative numbers? Because you don't need very many. You know, if you look here at these little sharp points right there, the algorithm's shutting you down. So, you know, I, I hate to be uh, uh, suspicious, but I mean, I don't know, it just seems like that could happen. I mean, if there are people trying to game it one way or another, they could be doing that too. You know, somebody that's got a brick cat channel, I guess. I don't really, I think that's really unlikely because, I, don't, I mean, who's really going to go through all that effort to try to shut someone's bricks and cat channel down? Unless it's actually a YouTube uh, um, deal, you know, like their AI program or something that affects that. But here you can see some more uh, of the analytics in here. And then this is just going through the different days that I was uh, added up. And um, you can see the Filmora. That one was doing pretty good at first. So the first five hours, 22 views. Seven hours was 27. Here we go after four days, we're at 53. You know, they're 59. I mean, that's not great. You know, these guys are getting million views in two weeks, you know, so to get 59 views is like really, it's nothing, I mean, it, it isn't really rate, you know, I wonder why the algorithm is, is shutting it down, so, yeah, I, I don't know, I mean, but it's a, the fact that you're putting all this effort into it, you know, it's not a, it's not a just make a video and throw it up there, you gotta, there's a lot of stuff you gotta go through to make these work, you know? so, you know, it's gotta, the audio needs to be recorded correctly, the video has to be done correctly, you know, there's some uh, expense, you know, so personally I've taken off time from work to try to make a start up a video channel. And, and when I first started, all I wanted to do was just um, showcase some of the uh, uh, design stuff that I've been working on. And I, and I really wanted to get the artificial intelligence uh, uh, component working on uh, and focus on that. But this kind of thing like this, I was on vacation for a week. But prior to that, I mean, this thing was goofing around with me. I have enough trouble with just keeping up with all the technical challenges. And then I got that YouTube algorithm screwing around with me and nobody explaining what's going on. You know, so that was a bit of a distraction. And um, what I kind of came to the conclusion was is that I'm not even worried about it. I mean, I kind of pay attention to it. I want to see what's going on. You know, but if I only get one or two views on a video, okay, hey, so what? I don't care anymore. <laughs> you know? If you're gonna like it, you like it. You know? And I, I'm gonna do a video on just liking the likes. So you know, how, if you ever notice, there's all these guys going, you know, make sure you like my video, like and subscribe. You know, press those buttons down there. And this is why. This is exactly why because we're competing with this uh, artificial intelligence. It's supposed to be like, you know, giving you the best option possible. I have a feeling that this with this artificial intelligence that everybody's using now that we might not be getting the best answer first we might be getting it for different reasons that we don't know about but you know that's beside the point point. and then that show here your video has gotten 60 views since it was published so 60 people viewed it now my understanding is is that um this could just sit here for a while until I get more uh, subscribers, and then as I get more subscribers, those subscribers look at some of the stuff that I have on there, and if they're interested in it, then it'll get promoted up, and then the channel will get moved up. But uh, I don't expect to get millions of, of subscribers. I think that's for uh, some younger guys that probably work out a lot harder. Here's the reach. So this was the reach that we got. So on this particular video here, I mean, it gave me a good uh, uh, 3,000 impressions, but when you look at the 3,000 impressions, I only got 1.5% click-through rate. So it would see my um, my thumbnail. And like I was saying, I don't use, uh, I'm not following the thumbnail fad, you know, because I think what's going to happen is, is that all of a sudden, all those thumbnails that are black and they got just a couple words in it and different things going on, you can start to see they all look the same. 
they're going to start realizing that well that's not unique enough to get uh, people to click on it after a while it'll be oh yeah that's the same stuff i've been clicking on oh, i'll look for something else so i want mine to stand out i'm trying to do it uh a branding, you know, I want it to be graphically interesting to so where you say, okay, I think I might want to watch this. So, like for my artificial intelligence thumbnail, I'm using the robot um, uh, background, and uh, sometimes I'll put up this little 3D guy in there, you know, or uh, artificial intelligence uh, neural network. This is the reach again. And it'll show, um, let's see, the external sites or apps, you know, that was uh, they were used to pick it. And then here down here is an interesting one. So what they did was with those 3,000 uh, impressions, they put them in where other people are watching a video. They went to a site to watch a video. And then, and then when they're watching the video, they could look at other uh, thumbnails, and the thumbnails would show up. So they put like 10% of it in uh, uh, something about a future thing. But the one that I thought was uh, most interesting was... Uh, this thing about how to shoot a camera. And so they were like 5% of those went to in front of this uh, person's channel. And uh, according to the algorithm, uh, uh, stuff that I, that I researched on, what the algorithm is doing is it's showing your video to people who might be interested in cameras, but may click on something because they're also interested in artificial intelligence or whatever else you have in your, the, you know, that describes the video that it can find in the content. And I don't, I'm not using tags, I don't know if I have to go back there and put tags in or, or keywords or something, but I, I, you know, I was uh, reading up on it and, uh, or watching a video or something and they said that the, um, the system in the YouTube algorithm is so good that it creates a transcript of your, uh, of your voice and then that's how it gets the keywords for it to determine what uh, the video has in it. So you don't really need to put the keywords in there, and maybe it would help, you know, like somebody like me, where I not, uh, I don't enunciate as well sometimes as I should. You know, I mean, I'm starting to actually become a better speaker because of this, because it's yeah, take time to think about stuff. And then here's just some more things. This was the auto scan with Magic Plan, and uh, you know, I started out, I got one, and then you know, here I have three views, and I was getting five, you know, and it was coming along. Magic Plan, Auto Scan, and I, and I figured with the Magic Plan stuff because uh, Magic Plan's a, a software application that you can use, and I use it a lot in my design business, so I really enjoy it. So I like to do videos on it because it's a really cool software. But they also do a lot of videos, and I think they probably release two a week. So they've got quite a portfolio of of um, Magic Plan videos that people have watched, and there's only like one other guy out there that's got. Um, it's like 60,000 views. He had one video on Magic Plan. He's got 60,000 views. And I'm wondering, well, what happened? How come he only did one video on it? And then maybe he was thinking the same thing, like he was in competition with Magic Plan people. But I'm not really doing it to try to um, be in competition with anybody. And, you know, I mean, if something comes with that Magic Plan stuff, then that'd be great. But I, I mean, just like it because it's a really cool uh, program to do. So if you're like a designer or contractor or real estate agent or something like that you know it's worth looking into that magic plan app because it works pretty well and but anyway so i was just following along and i'd hit like 20 views i got 318 impressions now i was getting a pretty good click through rate three three point five percent you know it's not great you know 10 percent would probably be pretty good but i was getting something out of it then you know i hit about 26 you know and, and all of a sudden it just dropped off again it's just like everything else so here I've got already 21 unique visit viewers, but again, I think it's the, uh, if you look at the engagement, so you can come over here and see engagement again, and it just gets these little jabby looking, um, not very long on the, on the video, and that kills it, you know, for engagement, so somebody watches that, they don't, they don't enjoy it, and that's how the, um, the algorithm is going to rate your video, you know, it's just going to happen that way. And then here's, uh, um, the, uh, so just following through with the same thing. Uh, auto scan with Magic Plan. So the video got 38 views. And that's uh, as of, I think that's from today. So it ended up with like 38 views and then now it's it. Yeah, the 29th. And then so the, here again the reach, you know, as you can see. And then it comes down here, it kind of gives you like a breakdown. And they use everything as kind of like a funnel. You know, 20 visitors and that kind of thing. 
Yeah, and then, uh, so there's the auto scan a little bit more, and then I've got, um, oh, this was interesting. I was watching my own video so I could make sure that the audio was going, and I had clicked on this through my channel, so I got it on my channel, and I look over here, I notice it's serving me. I'm getting to look at one of my videos here in the thumbnail, but they're hardly serving us to anybody, so am I like the one of the only guys that gets to watch it because it happens to be one that I've watched before? <laughs> So only my subscribers get to see it. So maybe it just takes time to work out. It just feels like a whole, the whole program just feels really weird. And uh, so that's pretty much uh, where I'm at with the algorithm and artificial intelligence this week. You know, so I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna put this one away and I'm not gonna really worry about it too much. And I'm keep making videos. And I'm gonna make videos about whatever I feel like. I'm not gonna worry too much about if they fit the channel or not. I'm just gonna put stuff on here that I mean, I really want to stick with the design stuff, but I also like doing things, you know, so I'm working around the house. So my wife wanted, uh, wanted to have some friends over, so we had a lot of uh, honeydews that needed to be done. So I took time out to work on that and I filmed it. So I was going to make some uh, videos on that. And then also like, um, uh, I just did one for the installation of the uh, Zen 32 um, uh, screen controller. It's a smart switch, works with my uh, smart things app, you know, so um, I, I did a video for that because that I can actually roll back on as I'm doing uh, design work and even with the bathroom design I'm going to have a discussion about lighting. Now I don't think I'd use a screen controller or any kind of app, uh, uh, home automation system for the lighting in a bathroom but uh, maybe for the uh, for the exhaust fan you know for to operate the steam uh, to take the steam out humidity level or if it gets too hot in there and you can have the exhaust fan come on, so that could be some automation that we run. Uh, but for lighting, I don't see the purpose in that, because you could just use a local switch, you know, so you get a dimmer, and you could do presets on your dimmer to where it's already set up for you. You just press a button, and it goes to whatever you want. So, like, what I'm thinking about as far as lighting in a bathroom situation, if I've got a dimmer switch and it's uh, um, going to give me light for makeup, you know, I want a certain light, certain color, maybe. You know, so that might be something that you may want to go through uh, a Smart Things app because you could actually set the color then from that. That's kind of where I'm at on the lighting and the automation and everything. But anyway, so that's kind of getting off the track. I had to tie it in so you guys kind of know what's going on here with the uh, with the design part. So I'm gonna, uh, like I said, I'm gonna give this a break. I'm not gonna worry about it. I won't make more videos on the uh, on the YouTube algorithm. I felt that this was an important time to do it because it was, a, it was kind of getting to me emotionally and it, and it was starting to feel a little bit like you would in a social media type setting where maybe you're not, you know, liked. I mean, that's terrible to feel that way. And so uh, if that's happening to you, then, you know, maybe you'll get something out of this and realize that it isn't the algorithm trying to pick on you and it isn't some guy sitting at his cubicle desk while I wonder sometimes if there isn't an account manager associated with that. but. Uh, somebody with a latte <laughs> getting a little getting a little chuckle for the day oh watch this we're gonna race all his views and send him over the deep edge <laughs> get the feedback the feedback works believe me it must because they, they return my views after I give it the feedback but then at the same time I don't get as many as impressions as I was getting before so I could be getting penalized for that I don't know so I don't know what the algorithm penalty is you know if you're in a penalty box they don't tell you you know, and I get out of boys once in a while on there, you know, I'll notice that I got 10 uh, subscribers and they gave me a little badge. Hey, congratulations, you got 10 subscribers. And I know it's just to keep you in it, you know, and then one day they showed me a video of a lady that's got a design business. and She had uh, 50 videos on her channel and, and the one that I watched was how she made $5 million in three years. And so, you know, the encouragement was uh, and it was served to me on purpose, I think, was that if you stick with this, that you could maybe make the $5 million in three years, but I, I, I'm not counting on that. I don't think that'll ever happen. But uh, we do, I do want to make the video, so it's kind of fun. It would be nice to make a living from this, but um, man, there's a lot of work that goes into it. And, and we're actually going to start a new uh, channel, me and my wife, and we're going to talk about how uh, senior living, what it's like to live in a... a a retirement community. We're 55 and older and we live in a mobile home park. You know? So we're going to show off some of the reasons why we live here and and I think that uh, for somebody that's considering a cost-effective way to uh, downsize from 
you know, a mortgage into something that you're just paying, uh, basically for us, it's a uh, homeowner's association fees. It includes all your trash pickup and, uh, and the uh, clubhouse stuff, amenities and everything. And we got happy hours every week and video, the movies, they show movies. My friend Simon, he's, uh, he's in the audio business, but man, he does home theater stuff. He's got one in his uh, mobile home, you know, mobile home with a home theater. And uh, his videos are, you know, dead on wonderful to watch. We go up to the clubhouse and he's got a big projector screen and he'll play the videos and he's got an awesome audio set up on it. So, uh, you know, so we're going to do some stuff on that. You know, I, won't, I won't put it on this channel because it's just not appropriate. But the, uh, certainly anything that's design related will show up on here. So anyway, so I know this has been a long one and uh, appreciate you hanging out and just uh, while well, I chat about the, my frustration with the algorithm. And if you liked it, you know, go, like I said, please uh, hit that like button down below. And, um, and if you didn't like it, you know, try subscribing because maybe you'll like the next one. And uh, without any more uh, comments, uh, anything else to say, this is RB signing off. <laughs>